Hey guys, and welcome to my review of the Metal Gear Rations Bento Box, available exclusively at the Konami uh, official store in Japan. And I believe this was um, one of the commemorative items to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Metal Gear Solid. Um, I picked this up while I was in Japan last year, um, a couple months ago. And so, actually, you know what, I'll take it out of the box first. I actually didn't open this. It's crazy. Um, well, let's take a look at... Nah, 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 we we'll still open it. Get the little razor out. Cut carefully. There we go. Alright. I guess one thing that I can say is that I, I, that I am a little disappointed at kind of like the flimsy box because I did kind of buy this as a, as a kind of like gift item for myself and I, I know that this, you know, you can already see the signs of wear on this box despite the fact that I've, I've really only displayed it on a shelf. So, let's see what it says here. Konami Metal Gear Sol well, Metal Gear 25th Anniversary Special Lunch Case. Let's see how it opens. Uh, they give you instructions on how to open it, obviously all uh, conveniently in Japanese, which makes sense, of course. Uh, slim style, I don't know, I don't know if I can agree with this. This is a pretty big, it's a pretty large bento box. Although, you know what, I guess, I guess what they're getting at is most bento boxes are, are kind of, uh, how do you, how would I explain this, wide? As in, this, this would be the plate. Whereas the slimness that comes from this bento box is that it's got like a vertical orientation. So, all right, that's kind of cool. I can I can see where they're coming from here. Um, so it's a slim style hard case, certainly hard. Three Don unit. Uh, this means that there's uh, three levels and multi-use. It looks like it's dishwasher safe as well as microwave safe. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, ABS plastics, all this stuff. You can you can call them if you're dissatisfied. Zero five seven zero eight six five seven three. Call them. Speak in English. I'm sure they'll understand this completely. Um, the retail price for this was uh, uh, twenty five hundred yen, which with today's exchange rate, well, at least well, with the exchange rate when I went uh, a couple months ago, um, this would have made this just about. 30 bucks, maybe? Yeah. Kind of expensive, I guess, for a bento box. Um, but not expensive for a, a a branded bento box. So let's look at the details here. Foxhound, special force group, and instead of the knife, the fox is holding a uh, fork. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, Metal Gear Ration, Special Force Group, Foxhound, 1987 to 2012. So it's so it's completely a commemorative item, and I'm, I'm glad I had the opportunity to buy this. Uh, Metal Gear 25th Anniversary, casing, ABS, max temperature 70, 70 degrees Celsius, minimum temperature minus 20 degrees Celsius, food tray, PET slash PBT, which is the type of plastic, petroleum, and... I don't know what PBT stands for. Um, with a max temperature of 140 cent, uh, centigrade and minimum temperature of minus 20 centigrade again. Lid is polyethylene with a max temperature of 70 C with a min temperature of minus 20 C. That's pretty awesome. And then <clears throat> the ubiquitous uh, exclamation mark and the question mark for uh, when you are found and when uh, a troop hear something suspicious. So, let's follow the instructions and push. Right. Oh, oh, okay, it's a two-sided push system. Does that make it more cumbersome or less cumbersome? You know, I have pretty large hands, and I, I can't wrap my finger around there. How am I supposed to do this? Boy, I'm sad. I'm never going to get to my lunch. I'm a sad, hungry guy. 
Really? All right. <laughs> let's, let's look at these crap instructions. Oh wow, they put them into missions. Mission one, press both buttons. Mission two, continually to press both buttons. Mission three, pull apart. I'm not... Oh, that's interesting. That's, I, I swore that's what I did before. Okay, anyway. So, um, quite honestly, when I bought this, I had absolutely no intention to use this as a bento box. Uh, because, uh, first of all, you know, I, I think this is a unique item. I like to keep it in relatively pristine condition. And uh, I guess the other thing is that uh, that uh, I think I, I eat larger portions than, than, <laughs> than what is available here. <laughs> so, um, I, I'd actually uh, intended to buy this to hold kind of little little items like keychains or you know pins or whatever but here we are see the first layer I'd, I'd like to assume all of them were the same and be be nice if one of them came with a fork inside doesn't look like it doesn't sound like it either yep so hmm what does it smell hmm smell of Japan um yeah, unlike unlike what I uh, I actually expected there to be like a shelving system, but I guess it's just stackable plates, uh, containers. So there we go. Metal Gear Ration Box. Um, I guess really the the biggest thing that I would say is that this is this is a really fun item if you can if you can find it. Um, if you live in America like me and have a much larger appetite than maybe the typical Japanese school child. Uh, this would probably not be the best thing for you to bring your lunch in uh, to work. Uh, I do worry about how um, how durable the, the the print is on this package. I feel like it, you know it, it can definitely survive a couple trips, but whether or not it can last you know a couple months is a different story. Um, if you were to buy this, like I said, I think it's nice to hold you know little items that you might otherwise lose, or or even like little snacks, you know things like M and M's, for example. Like these Easter M&Ms that I've kind of repurposed this uh, this little container for. Um, <coughs> yeah, um, so this is this is really neat. Um, hopefully, if you can find it, uh, you shouldn't have to pay more than maybe forty dollars, including shipping, for it. Um, these were not, um, from what I understand, these were limited edition, but uh, they were not difficult to find. So they were limited only in the sense that they would uh, stop production at some point. But I believe that there was, you know, plenty uh, available uh, when I went to the store. And uh, and so, you know, I, I just really hate to see people being um, uh, ripped off uh, and paying absorbed an amount of money for it. Um, let me think. Um, but, I mean, of course, if you do find it, um, like I said, the retail price was uh, 2,500 yen. So please do keep in mind that the shipping fees uh, coming in from Japan, as well as the exchange fees, are going to uh, even possibly maybe even double the price of the item, come to think of it. Um, because the Japanese shipping uh, postal service is a lot more expensive than the American version. Uh, and they go by not only weight, but, but size of package. And so... Um, this thing is fairly heavy. Um, I mean, we're, we're not talking, you know, um, maybe the... Gosh, you know what? Does it weigh as much as an iPad? Yeah, it weighs a little bit more than an iPad. Um, which really isn't a lot of weight, but kind of gives you an idea of, uh, of how heavy this thing is. Um, terrible with weight. Is this a pound? I don't know, maybe. Um, yeah, so... I don't give a ration box.